Yo guys, what's going on? Yes, yes. Just in the place to be, yeah. Right now, how we doing today? What's going on out there in your world, yeah? Just sort of try something different, yeah? See how this looks. At some point, I'll see if I can get somebody to fill in the blanks for me, yeah? So, hope you're all having a good day. Hope you're not uh, sort of uh, stressing about this uh, situation too much, guys. Uh, help is out on hand, um, obviously. Um, one thing I wanted to bring up here, I really wanted to make this video because um, I think it's quite important at this stage, basically, we we sort of push towards legalisation because we're going to be cooped up in our houses from this point on now and um, why should we be treated as criminals? I think this is the point where now we need to push forward and you guys who are good at, at campaigning there, you need to help us and guide us uh, in what to do from here. Because I think now is the opportunity to be able to say to, you know, the government, you know, we shouldn't be criminalised. If we're going to be stuck in our homes, we should, A, we should be allowed to grow our own supply of cannabis. And B, we shouldn't be criminalised for being able to smoke something, which is going to calm us down and obviously make it a better situation for us. Because, um, guys, you know out there... You know, you won't be able to do without your cannabis, just like people won't be able to do without their, their drinks and their Guinness and their state and their lager and whatever, to be fair. I like a tipple as well. But the whole point is, is why should we do without our medication that is very, very beneficial to us, yeah? We should be able to do without that and we should be criminalised, yeah? We should be able to get it supplied to us and we should be able to get it legally without any sort of implications. Really, we should be allowed to fucking grow our own so we can provide safe medicine. We know exactly what we want. Uh, we, again, we can grow um, the, you know, the right strain for the right ailments. Um, I'll give you a little example um, of you know, this. Um, Dr. Grinspoon, 100% sativa, was no good for me. Made me very, very anxious. Didn't have a very, very good experience with that. I did smoke quite a bit of it, but um, I've smoked a lot of other weeds as well, and they've never had that effect on me before. Uh, the Dr. Grinspoon, although I really um, enjoyed it, it left me extremely paranoid, um, quite stressed out, um, very, very anxious, and it really had the opposite effect, um, you know, to what I actually um, wanted, to be fair. So again, if these things were labelled correctly, we would be able to take the right one, we'd be able to grow the right one for say, you know, my anxiety, my depression, I would know straight away what, um, what strains to um, pick, which would obviously, um, you know, benefit me in that way, if you like. So um, I just think this is a, a time now where you guys out there who are really, really good at campaigning and sort of pushing the message forward, um, use me as your tool, I'm here, um, I, can, I can literally um, do whatever you guys want me to do, as long as it's going towards the same goal, obviously, which is obviously legalisation, but I need steering at this, this point, guys, I think this is the point where we do need to push forward, and we need to let Boris know that, you know, come on, we're not criminals, if you're going to be locking us up for, you know, weeks on end, and, you know, on the uncertainty of, what's going to happen and how long we're going to actually have to lock down here. We should be allowed to um, sell, you know, medicate ourselves without being prosecuted or feel like you know, we are criminals because we are not criminals. We're no different than the guys who go up the pub and drink five or six pints on a night time every night, seven days a week, yeah? Yeah? We're not that, are we? We just have a few little cheeky little spliffs. Uh, we don't harm society. Um, we do it in the confines of our own home. Um, you know, 90% of the time, I would say, you know, sometimes people go out for walks in the country and stuff like that, whatever, that's different. But I don't think anyone would push it in people's faces. Um, I think at the end of the day, it needs to be looked at. It needs to be looked at now. And um, guys, come on, what do you think? Is this not a good idea right now while we're all being locked up? Do you not think this is the time? that we should all be sort of getting together and going, ah, 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 yeah? We ain't fucking crims anymore. You stop treating us like that. You stop treating us like that because we're not fucking having it, guys. So anyway, I'm going to stop uh, talking for the moment and we're just going to have a little bit of smoking, guys. So I hope this goes down on the old screen quite well. Guys, I hope you're loving the videos at the minute. And I hope you enjoy the message that I'm trying to share right now. Tell me if you think I'm fucking wacky and, you know, you think it's a shit idea. 
or tell me if you think it's a good idea that maybe now is the time to sort of push it forward and you know use use this little bit of a really really bad situation just as a little bit of leverage into sort of putting us in a better position where we cannot be treated like criminals anymore yeah now is the time guys now is the time come on agree with me anyway let's just have a little look at the little fatty let's just make sure that's all rolling do you see the fatty do you see that fatty do you guys peace love respect to all you guys out now i love each and every one of you yeah peace bottoms up Nice, really nice, fruity notes, completely, uh, you know, <coughs> illegal. I'm smoking it kind of on my own home. I'm not, I'm not, you know what I mean? What am I doing? I'm sorting my, you know, my anxiety, my depression out with it. Yeah, does it help me? Fuck yeah. Would I struggle about it? Fuck yeah, would I, yeah? Would I go into fucking meltdown? Fuck yeah. Of course I would, yeah? Would it make me 10 times worse by not having it? Fuck yeah. So that's all I'm saying out there, yeah? You guys are with me because you know you appreciate it. And you know what it's like when you've done without a herb, yeah? When you've done without it, it's a fucking horrible thing, isn't it? I don't know about you, but I can't eat, I can't sleep, you know, I get anxious, it makes me worse. It just, you know what I mean? And I've stopped in the past. I've stopped for months and months and months at a time because of certain situations where I had to. And do you know what? I just felt shit. So all this about, yeah, it's just, you know what I mean? A couple of weeks and all that. No, 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 it just, it just, cannabis works for me, yeah? It works for me. And as soon as I started taking cannabis again, my depression, my anxiety, all of that went away. And it's great, you know? The CBD is fantastic. That just, again, that just melts into anxiety. And again, there is still a grey area, isn't it? Why are we being penalised for using something that we choose to, I mean, I choose to smoke, so I know the consequences of smoking. I don't need to smoke it like that, but I choose to smoke it like that because I enjoy it, yeah? That's my personal choice, yeah? My choice. Not yours out there, Boris Johnson and all the rest of you bellends, yeah? You need to be listening now because we don't want to be treated like criminals anymore, yeah? I hope you're listening to this out there somewhere, Boris Johnson. You need to get off your ass now with everything that's going on. People like us need to be chilled out, yeah? Because if we don't get our medicine, we're going to turn into fucking green-eyed monsters, mate. Let me tell you, all of us. Uh, I hope the uh, cannabis community agree with me in that, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah? You take away our medicine, what are we going to be like, you know? We're going to be the same as them guys who are uh, having to do about their, uh, their, their alcohol. Well, they've not shut the pubs yet, which is a bit fucking stupid. Anyway, I'm not getting on to that today. We're not getting on to that, yeah? This is just a, this is a hypothetical conversation with you guys. I just thought about it earlier. I just thought, you know, what a great idea you know, this present moment, would, would it not be a good point to put some pressure on them when they are, you know, they're in a position to listen right now to us, whereas they don't ever fucking listen before, so make them listen now, let's make them listen now, guys, please, yeah, please, help support me, help support my little dream, I think it'll work, you know, I think we might get somewhere with this. And, um, you know, I'm fed up of being treated as a criminal. And like I say, I'm going to be stuck in here for God knows how long. You know, I want to be puffing my hair, but not, not, not be worrying about fucking uh, breaking the law. I'm not a criminal. I'm not breaking into somebody's home. I'm not fucking mugging some old granny, am I? I'm not doing anything nasty, do you know what I mean? I'm not being malicious. I'm not stabbing anyone. I'm not, you know, beating anyone up. I'm just... Being a nice guy, I'm just doing my own thing, I'm in my own little bubble, I'm not fucking hurting anyone, I'm just not harming anyone, I'm just doing my thing, yeah? Playing my PlayStation, listening to my YouTube, listening to my tunes, yeah? I'm not harming anyone, just like you guys out there, yeah? We're not criminals, and it's about time we stopped being treated like criminals. Do you not agree? Do you not agree? 
Yeah? Should I stop waffling shit? Should we have another bomb? Right? Alright, I'm just gonna go off camera set because I just need to get the bomb. Right? Two seconds, guys. We'll load him up. That's what I've got there. I've got the old star on. Can you see? Yes, you can. How's that, guys? You liking that? So I hope you're all chilled out there today. There's my little rant for the day. A rant uh, with a little bit of positivity in it. I would like to think that we could do something, guys. What a fantastic way. Way, man. Cheers, guys. Just have a little drinky poos to stay, you know what I mean? So tell me how, how's things looking? How's things sounding at the minute? It's a bit more of an echo in this room, but you know, we just thought we'd try it anyway. Tell me what you think, yeah? Tell me what you think. Any ideas? Any ideas? Right then, you ready for the next little fatty? Should we show you? Are you ready? Can you see the fatty? Can you see the fatty? Can you? Can you see the fatty? He's there. He's there. Well, are you ready for this? Oh. Star dog number two. Yes, yes. Oh, I love it. Love it. You know what I mean? I feel happy now. I feel fucking happy. I've been literally, I'm waiting for that. I'm trying to set this up all fucking day. It keeps fucking falling down, guys. Literally, technical difficulties. You know what I'm saying? You YouTubers out there, you know, you know my pain. <laughs> you know my pain setting stuff up. But hey, it's great. I love it. I'm still loving all the support. <coughs> oh, you know it's coming. <coughs> I'm still loving all the support I'm getting from people at the minute. It's fantastic. The subscribers are going up by the day still. It's just, it's buzzing me. The, the views are going up now. People are starting to like the longer videos by the look of it. So there's going to be a little bit more of that, although they do um, sort of take a long time to upload in my flat at the minute. I'm having issues basically, but that's fine. I'm going to try and get the broadband uh sort of updated a little bit basically so I can get things sort of 100% uh, sort of uploaded when I want to upload them not when fucking my stupid internet sort of uh, tells me to so like I say technical uh, difficulties I can't wait to get all this super fast super fast all this fucking decent stuff you know what I mean which is like twice as fast because in this area guys I don't know what it's like for you your internet but ours is absolutely fucking shocking here literally the amount of times I, I put an upload up and it goes like halfway through and it takes like, some of them take like fucking 20 hours to upload, do you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, and they go halfway through and then they just fucking, just error, error, error. It's like, oh mate. Like I say, you YouTubers out there, you know exactly what I'm saying now. You know exactly my pain and what I'm saying. So have another little drink, guys. Sorry, cheers. On the old Ribena at the minute. I like, I, I like the Ribena, I've got to say. I bought it because all the cheap squash had been bought. So, obviously, I could get some Ribena. So yeah, it was good. It was nice. I like your Ribena. It was down well with the uh, old smokages and stuff. Gives you little wings though, doesn't it? So you better wipe them away. Anyway guys, so, hope you all are holding up through this situation. I hope things aren't affecting you too well. Uh, like I said, there's going to be a lot more fun on this show. I just wanted to share this with you as tonight's little um, chapter and just see what you think really from there. But um, any ideas on what you want me to do on the next couple of shows basically, stick it in the comments below. And um, yeah, I'll see what I can do basically. But I've got a few things in my head. Um, just to try and make you laugh and stuff like that and um, but yeah not to offend anyone I will put characters on and stuff like that and um, I'll try and um, you know what I mean cheer you guys up a little bit do you know what I'm saying so yeah yeah I'm all about entertainment guys um, peace and love to all you guys out there 
in the cannabis industry again, all my friends out there, Dr. Dems, you know, strain caners, you know, strain check. Guys, you're keeping it real. Um, I love what you did, uh, strain check, with um, obviously the, the subscription basically thing. You showed all you got, you guys you were subscribing to on a little video. So check that video out, um, guys, strain check. It's superb, because I've got a few, um, got a little bit of an uplift on that. A couple of subscribers, I think, from that, to be fair. So um, I met a few friends through that little post that you did there. So that was a really positive thing you've done there for the community. So yeah, really, really good. I think we could do more of that together to get more subscribers for each other and start joining the community up. So, um, you know, Dr. Dens, uh, strain check, strain caners out there. So anything you could do to link us up and maybe get us some more subscribers and we could do the same for you. I don't know, any ideas out there? Any ideas? I mean, obviously a show for us all together would be really, really beneficial, but we're not gonna be able to do that for a while, but hmm. Any ideas? Any ideas? It would be good, but I would like to link the communities up a little bit more. Because we are one family, we're the smoking family, and I think that the more, the merrier, the more people we can get on board to these channels, uh, the more chance that we can do sort of more lives. That's my aim really, guys. I'm aiming to do the lives. I'm not aiming to get to the two, three, four hundred mile. I want a thousand subs, yeah? I want a thousand subs. That's what I need. I'm not going to get monetized on this for the subjects of what I'm doing. Um, you're going to have to look at other avenues now, maybe, you know, sponsorships and stuff like that to go forward. But at the minute, I'm making zero. I'm doing this all for the love of the cannabis community and pushing that message forward of legalization of this flower and to stop people being persecuted for doing such a a natural thing, yeah? Such a natural thing that we should all be doing, yeah? They're all there, all the receptors are in our body. They're all there for a reason, yeah? And you're telling us we can't take our medicine. How dare you, yeah? Sorry guys, on to the rant again. I can't stop myself. I'm on one here, mate. We're gonna fucking do something here. I'm telling you, when I get something in my head, I just go for it and I just succeed. And you ask anyone, I just literally, I'm like, just lock my teeth in and I don't fucking let go, mate. I'm telling you, there's something in this, guys. There's something in this. So just follow my dream with me, yeah? Just come on board and let's see what you got to add to the table here because I'm not the most knowledgeable guy. I can talk, yeah? And I've got vision and I've got ambition and I've got drive but I need the meat on the bones as well, yeah? I need you guys out there, if you can help, and you can, like I say, orchestrate something where we can, you know, put something together and, you know, get legalization done now at this point. How fucking fantastic would that be? I keep saying it, guys, I can't help it. It's just in my head. You've got to know my dream, and then, um, yeah, please, follow and support me, guys. Follow and support me. Right, should we have another one? Should we have another one? I think we should, eh? Because it would only be fucking... Do you know what I mean? It'd be rude not to, really. It'd be rude not to. What are you guys smoking and choking on at the minute? Have you got the supplies? I know I'd, uh, I've called for a few, uh, few emergency supplies for tomorrow. And that's all I can afford then. There's a little fatty there, guys. So yeah, I, haven't, I really haven't got a lot to last me and I'm waiting on some CBD at the minute still so I was hoping this was going to be a CBD um, sort of uh, you know what I mean night tonight but we're going to do this instead because this is in my head I'm waiting for the CBD anyway so this is important and um, I have been waiting to make this video so yeah there we go have that guys peace one love get your fucking splits out there get your bombs ready get your rigs ready Get your dabs ready and let's fucking smoke up. Peace out there, guys. Peace out there. I love ya. Yeah? Respect. Yeah, man. Oh, so fruity.
I get like fruity and gassy. I don't know what you get with start off. That's what I get. Bit, bit fruity where it's going in, and then exhale, I get the gassy, and it stinks like folk. Yeah? That of all the weeds, you know what I mean? It's probably, <coughs> cheese is probably as bad, I think, for the smell. <coughs> oh, 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 you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. I had to, didn't I? Oh, guys, just get you in my beat now. We will play a little bit more of uh, DJ Equinox B. So thank you, DJ Equinox B, for you know loaning us your music. Love your music. I am gonna use it again. I will ask you, but um, I'm gonna do another sort of weekend one basically with DJ Equinox B. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to DJ Equinox B yet, please um, do me a favour. Look him up. His music's fucking brilliant, mate. Just hit the subscribe for him and give him a like, yeah, because he's, uh, he's like I said, been really good to um, provide the music. And I've got all of him to be fair. I want more. So obviously, if you guys all chuck some subscribes this way and stick some likes, you know, some nice comments and that, it'd go a long, long way for me. And obviously, that means I can continue to use decent music rather than crappy background music that what I'm playing at the moment. Yeah. So I'd much rather play something which which I like to be fair, rather than something that I just feel like I've got to play basically because of the copyright. All right. Cheers. Why be time? But guys, I hope you're well. Hope all your family are well out there. Hope everyone's cool and everyone's chilling and everyone's just safe, yeah? I mean, all the kids are gonna be, uh, you know, off from tomorrow. So they're gonna do your frickin' heads in. So, but no, it'd be gonna be good to have some family time as well. Look at it as a half full, yeah? Measure now, and it's gonna be really, really good because you're gonna be able to spend, you know, a different amount of time with the children that, that you weren't before. So just look at it as a positive, not a negative. Think about the things that you can do with the kids to stimulate them, you know, the board games and stuff like that. You've got to keep them busy, you've got to keep them happy. So, you know, happy family at the end of the day. It's really, really easy, guys. You've just got to just, just devote a bit of time to them. That's all. You're going to do that because you're going to be in the same areas now. So, but yeah, positive times, yeah. It's been, you know, it might be one of them, them, them sort of times. Um, that you may look back on, you know, as long as there's no tragedies in, you know, in your families or anything. But if everyone's safe and secure, it might be a bit of a bonding experience, you know. So again, to look at it as a half full, yeah, that's all I'm trying to do, guys. Um, but yeah, it, it could be a positive thing, you know. And um, you'll get closer to your families, and you'll spend more time with your families, and you know, you'll be able to maybe say things to your families that you haven't been able to say before because everyone's rushing around and everyone's rushing around and now you're gonna be all together and that, that is a positive thing and look at it look at it from that point of view yeah you know and, and you know cherish that time you know where you've got it don't turn it into a negative and oh you know we're trapped here you know just you're there with your families at the end of the day guys the majority of you anyway so and if you're not and you're on your own um like me most of the time um you know drop me i'll be here i'll talk to you i'm literally so you know i'm quite good at being on my own so i don't mind to be fair um but yeah so you guys with the families out there and the, the you know the kids living at home and stuff like that it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time for you so you know i wish you all the best on that as well you know uh, uh keeping them happy and keeping them all uh sort of uh you know what i mean stimulated and you know not fucking biting each other i mean you know in our ice just like you know what i mean three boys basically or i should say suzanne's ace they are three boys oh my god when they get together when they're on their own they're fine i don't know how you guys find that out there uh, but when you get them, um, uh, literally, when you get them all together, that's when that's when it starts, and it? that's when they start getting really, you know what I mean? They just they just need to be occupied, man. They just need to be occupied, literally, kids. So, you know. But have a good one, guys. I'll see you later. I'm gonna leave it there for the moment, but we're gonna do more tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed the smokings, because I've enjoyed the smokings. If anyone wants to do anything with the green screen, anything like that, yeah. I'm all up for here, so come on, just let me know. Peace, respect, one love, yeah. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. So see you later, guys. Cheers. Whoop, whoop.